Hello, hello, Shakil is speaking. Uh, today we are going to start a new uh, video tutorial and that's on Udemy clone. We will create a full site almost like Udemy. You see what the features Udemy have. And this is very popular site so I think all of you know about this. So if we land to the front page you see a lot of course, courses are over there. So if you want to buy a course or if you want to see some individual course as a slack it will pop up uh, like that so you can see the preview you can see the le some lectures preview which are being allowed from the back end and if you you can add to cart you see add to cart you can add to cart without login but without login okay so to add to cart products are over here if you go for checkout there is a pop-up for uh, login or register so here is a register functionality sign up functionality and login functionality okay so we will try our level base to uh, build this site almost like that so there will be instructors instructor and students I mean gateway system uh, we will try our level base to add all those features uh, almost like uh, Udemy okay so let's dive into the deep end so first of all you need to have a folder you need to have a folder like learning management system mm, okay already I have a folder and I have uh, created a folder and have uh, install next.js okay uh, first of all you need to have node.js in your system so let's check node D. so i have already installed node.js that's why it's showing the versions if you don't have just go over here the official uh, documentation or the site of node.js and just uh, install the node.js this is very user friendly and drag and drop so not much complexity server here and you have to have npm no? package manager dot b i have already so if you don't have if you install node.js it will, it will automatically add to you packages so right now these two things will do and we will create our project through marn stack so what is marn stack you see marn stack is means for mongodb express react and node.js and additionally we will use next.js next.js is very user friendly and it is the react uh, very popular react framework so you will get a lot of advantages over here so let's go let me get to the folder mm, as i have already mm, i am deleting it okay no problem. i am building it from the scratch so it will be helpful it will be very helpful for you learning management system i have two folders but i'm deleting it i want to build it from the scratch okay it's deleting so what we need to do we need to head over to the next.js and along with that you have to have a um, i mean cmd a command line interface I have CMDEF, but according to your wishes or preference, you can download anything. So NPX, uh, right now I am in the Next.js official site. And go to the excuse me, go to the Docs folder, and you see the installation guidelines. So just put me the line over here and go to CD Navigate to your folder. CD learning learning management system. I have we have nothing and just install the Next.js and give it a name, a folder name. I am giving it client. You can give it anything according to your wishes. So it will take some time to incorporate uh, to install all the necessary file folders and uh, make you ready to work with next.js so as, as it will take some minutes so i'm pausing the video i don't like to 
kill you time i'm coming back after a few, few minutes or seconds okay okay it is done so if we navigate to the or if we open our initial structure the vs code i'm using vs code you can use whatever the ide code editor you like mm, so this is vs code you see mm, this is vs code so uh, these folders are given automatically by the next js uh, i have to do nothing it's coming spontaneously automatically so if you navigate to the Mm, this is the PS code uh, by default terminals. If you don't see it, you can just go to the terminal and uh, first of all clear it and navigate to client cd client cli emt client and run the command npm run dip. So it will give you the initial next.js setup of almost 3000. Okay, this is the initial setup uh, ready for us, but there is some problems over here. You see, parsing error cannot find. Initially, it gives some problems. So, how to solve it? Just go and uh, write down the problems. I hope you will find the solution. I think this is the solution. ESLint. Go to your ESLint folder and just copy and paste this line. ESLint. Where is ESLint? ESLint. This is the folder. And copy and paste this lines next to web vitals. Okay. I'm deleting the previous line. And save it. I think problem will be solved. Okay. Done. Problem will solve. Problem is solved. So. Mm, this is our initial setup we are ready set go to dive into the deep okay so we will create another folder this is our client side and another one is server side i am just creating the folder nothing will be done over here right now but the, by the course of time gradually we will uh, set up our servers controller and controller files and route files over here okay by combination of these two folders, our project will be uh, done and ready to uh, go to the market. Okay, and uh, finally, we will deploy our site to the Heroku or Netlify. Okay, so this is all about from me uh, from this tutorial. If you like the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and stay connected. See you soon. Thank you very much.